This is Will, and thank you for joining the Law Schoolers. Okay, in this episode, we're going to be talking about deciding if law school is right for you. And in a previous episode, it's actually the first episode that we ever put out, I talked about what deciding if law school was right for me, and I shared my story. For me, it was the love of the Constitution that shaped my desire to learn the law. Others may want to learn the law for a variety of reasons. Uh, maybe you were involved in the criminal justice system. Maybe you grew up watching court-related TV. Or maybe you want to go to law school because you have expectations to family and friends and want to make a lot of money. So there are good goals and bad goals. And so I've actually developed a list of three steps of what we can do to make sure that we set good goals and know whether or not law school is right for us. Well, step one is to find a purpose. And this purpose should be unrelated to law school. And then you're going to want to compare that purpose to what law school might be able to offer. So, for example, your life goal may be to create safer communities. And then you want to ask, well, will law school help me create a safer community? And you want to take those questions and you evaluate it to see whether or not that's going to provide some benefit in law school. But how do you find a purpose? Well, there are a couple of questions that you want to ask yourself. First, you want to ask yourself, what do I want to accomplish in this life? And you want these goals to have some meaning. You don't want it to be dumb, where it's like, in this life, I want to make lots of money. In this life, I want to impress my family and friends. In this life, I want to be successful. No, th- those are kind of bad goals. So what are some of the good goals that I can do? Something that has some purpose and meaning to it. Well, I mentioned one earlier. One could be creating a safer community. Uh, another life goal would be help those who struggle to help themselves. Maybe you want to help businesses grow. Maybe you want to contribute to organizations that you care about, whether it's religious or community or anything along those lines. So although law school can help bring a lot of success in achieving all these goals, whether good or bad goals, many other fields of job may actually bring that same success. So you want to consider multiple educational paths before deciding that law school would be the best way to reach these goals. For example, for me, my life goal is to build up and support the Constitution and defend constitutional rights. Law school has the power to give me the necessary tools to actually reach that goal, and not only does law school give me those tools, it's one of the only ways to actually do those things. Unless if I wanted to go into politics, and believe me, I do not want to be a politician. So right now, law school is the logical path of reasoning. Okay, so step two is to get some experience in those fields. So after you've determined what path you want to take with your goals and whether or not uh, those goals are going to be met by law school, you should gain some early experience with law. So outside of the classroom, you can seek internships, you can look for jobs as a legal assistant, You can look for jobs at a courthouse, or you could even just go and sit at the courthouse. In the classroom, there are lots of things that you can do. Well, internships also apply to in the classroom because you can get course credit for that. You can observe observe law classes. You can participate in a law lecture series, and you can go and tour other law schools. So the reason for getting some experience is to see how much you actually like law. And if you participate in these activities And if you like these activities, then you know that you like law. And if you dislike them, then you might find law distasteful and that law school is not for you. Okay, so step one is to find a purpose and compare to law school. Step two is to get some experience. And then step three is to take all this information that you've gathered and evaluate and put it back and put it all together. So step three is actually done through steps one and two as well because you need to make that comparison in step one. Step two, you're seeing what you like and what you don't like. But there are so many other things that you need to evaluate, including like the cost of law school. So even if you enjoy having a legal experience and your goals lines up, many people may not be able to keep up with the demands of law school. So if you're more relaxed in your studies, or if you have a difficult time wanting to read and to write, law school may not be one of the best things that you can do. All in all, law school is a very meaningful place, a place where you can uh, meet those goals and you can gain valuable life experience 
and you can grow and you can be be very successful in the community. Not only that, I mean, you can have you can reach those goals that aren't the best, where it's be successful, make money, and impress your family and friends. But if you've set proper meaning to your goals, law school will be an edifying and built-up experience. And I know that's true, just based from my own experience. But that's everything for this episode. Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Law Schoolers. Before I let you go, there are four things I want to say. The first thing is if you enjoyed these episodes and if you enjoyed the website, I would invite you to go and join Law Schoolers Pro. And you can do that by going to lawschoolers.com slash join. It's a way for you to support us, but there's also a lot of features there that I think you will enjoy. Second thing is that nearly all of our episodes are unedited. The only ones that aren't our pre-law materials, and the reason for that is so you can actually see the legal material in its raw form as I'm learning it as well. The third thing is that the information contained in these episodes are specifically only for educational purposes. They're not to be used as legal advice, and with that, the fourth thing is if it is used as legal advice, we are not liable. That is, law schoolers is not liable for any legal outcomes. Thank you again for enjoying the show. Have a good one.